Ok. Oi, pessoal, Marcelo Copelo. Eu estou aqui na Toscana, na Col d'Orcia, com o Conte Francesco Marano Tinzano. Pleasure to meet you. Pleasure to meet It's you. It's an honor to be here. We are very happy because we just had a wonderful dinner with many wines from Col d'Orcia, including old and rare vintages like this 69. Talking about history, uh, could you tell us some of your history of your family and the property? Well, uh, the family, Cinzano, we've been producing wine for many centuries, from father to son. Some people say we don't have uh, blood running in the veins, <laughs> we have wine. And Sangiovese, of course. Sangiovese, Sangiovese. <laughs> and um, we are here on a very historic uh, part of Montalcino that has been producing wine for also a very long time. Um, Cordorcia is one of the historic estates of Montalcino, uh, already producing Brunello in the early part of the 20th century. Um, and now we are uh, the producer that has the largest collection of old vintages of Brunello. Yes, I could sample some tonight. So we like to share them, we like to uh, show people why Brunello has become so famous. Coming to the young wines and talking to a beginner, someone who never tasted a Brunello, a Brazilian who never tasted a Brunello, how could you describe a Coldorcia Brunello? Well, it is a very typical Italian wine. It tastes uh, Tuscany, it tastes uh, the flavors of the Mediterranean cuisine. So it is a wine that you want to uh, taste at the dinner table with uh, recipes that include the aromatic elements of the Mediterranean cuisine of the Mediterranean <coughs> underwood. So rosemary and sage and uh, uh, fennel and uh, bay leaf, uh, all the ingredients that are typical of the recipes, uh, Mediterranean recipes with olives and capers and tomatoes. Um, there you have the best uh, uh, environment for tasting Brunello, which is a very bright wine. Uh, I think you noticed this evening the acidity is very there. Very lively wine, yes. Very, very lively. Very. And so that's uh, very suitable for accompanying food. Okay, sounds great and it tastes great. Uh, talking about your uh, zone in Brunello, you are in San Angelo, Sant which, okay. which is south east. It's sea, south. Uh, um, looking towards the coast, mm -hmm. so with uh, uh, afternoon sun, uh, sunset, um, good exposure, uh, and uh, more important, uh, uh, there's no obstacle between this hill and the, and the coastline and the sea. It's a warmer and a little bit drier area. That's right, and with uh, wind. Yeah, so the, the wines uh, express this. Uh, power, let's say. That's right, good, good concentration. And uh, do you think Brunello should have the sub-zones in the label? This is a subject uh, this is, we're uh, talking about. It's, for me, it's not a question of uh, if it should happen, it's only a question of when it will happen. Okay, I agree, I agree, because very different Brunello from the north of the city, from the south of the city, southeast of the city, from a higher vineyards, from lower vineyards, very different expressions of Brunello. That's right. And uh, talking about uh, different expressions, uh, barrique or botti? We use, uh, we use botti. Both. We uh, decided uh, many, many years ago, even, even before this uh, debate between small wood and large wood uh, uh, became a heated debate, uh, we decided to remain with tradition to continue using the, the large botti. Um, I am uh, very much in favor of uh, this differentiation of the, the fact that other producers use mm -hmm. barrique. Uh, it's <coughs> one of the uh, defining elements of the character of each producer. So going back to when we talk about zones, it's zones in terms of climate, it's zones in terms of uh, soil, but also in terms of the interpretation that each producer sure. Yes. So you say that terroir is also uh, has a human factor. That's right. And uh, talking about uh, technology in the vineyard and in the, the winery, uh, Col d'Orcia 
uh, is in, uh, always in front researching with the University of Firenze, the University of Milan. Can you talk a little bit about this? This is fantastic project. We are, yes, we, we like to be pioneers in, uh, in research and development and uh, looking always forward uh, to, to the future. Um, a very important uh, aspect of uh, the recent year developments is uh, the organic and biodynamic uh, uh, certifications. So really looking at the sustainability of, uh, of our future productions. Uh, but over the years, uh, we have uh, researched uh, every aspect of the agronomics uh, of Sangiovese here in Montalcino. Uh, nothing is left to chance. We want to know mm -hmm. exactly what we're doing and why we're doing it uh, every season of the year in the, in the vineyard. And, uh, uh, and just like the symbol on our, on our bottles, on our labels, it's a hand pointing to the star. Mm -hmm. You always have mm -hmm. to look and point to the star. Great. We are talking about Sangiovese. Uh, you should know that there's not one Sangiovese, but many. It's a very old grape, and you're also researching on clones, right? Yes, yes, we have uh, conducted a, a, a clonal selection project with the University of Florence, uh, a project that started uh, more than 25 years ago, and that uh, is, requires a uh, very long time to complete. In fact, after 25 years, we still have not finished uh, the job. So long-term commitment with the quality of the wines. And still talking about Sangiovese, we had a few years ago the Brunello Gate, when some producers were caught mixing uh, international grapes with Sangiovese. Do you think this case uh, put more uh, Sangiovese came back in uh, fashion in the region, is stronger than ever Sangiovese? Yes, I think we reaffirmed uh, um, the, the role of Sangiovese, uh, of the pure Sangiovese here in Montalcino, uh, its capacity of producing unique wines, uh, wines that are recognizable, that are very typical of, uh, mm. of Tuscany. Um, and that cannot be repeated anywhere else. So the combination of uh, uh, Sangiovese and Montalcino uh, is a unique combination. Thank you. Any last message to our l listeners? Come and visit. We, we like, we <laughs> like to receive It's beautiful visitors. here. Come and visit. So we have many bottles. We, we might have your, the bottle from your year of birth. <laughs> Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Obrigado, pessoal.